Hey guys, welcome back to Black, White, and the Grace. My name is Kylie, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about seed storage because this is a real thing. If you start gardening or market farming or flower farming, seed storage becomes a massive issue. If you saw in this before clip, we're in the dead of winter. We are under a winter storm warning. We have already received well over a foot of snow alone today. We already had a foot and a half, but it kind of melted down to eight, six to eight inches, probably eight inches of like older snow. And now we're getting another foot. It started around 9 a.m. and it's now like 2 p.m. So it is coming down hard. Big fat flakes, it's beautiful. It's just the beginning of January, so happy new year. And I have spent the last few days organizing my seeds. There's a few reasons why. One, I couldn't find anything and I didn't know how much I had. I couldn't find anything. If I wanted to, I, I didn't know where it was. Two, I didn't know how much of everything I needed, where my missing gaps were, all the above. I have had lots of seed organization type of things, which I'm gonna show you, and which you probably saw from the thumbnail, but none of them have seemed to work. And I'll show you my favorite one, but it has to be, I'm not an organized, I'm not a very, I don't, I like organization and I appreciate it. I cannot stay organized. It's a constant battle for me to keep organizing things. If you hear a noise, it's my dishwasher. We're washing dishes. And we're Lord willing, we're not gonna lose power. But if we do, I'm prepared. Hot tip for you. If you think you're gonna lose power because of a storm, you should fill up a bathtub or bathtubs or sinks, jugs, whatever, of water. One, so you don't have to go to the store for water. Two, then you can, if your bathtub is there, you can still flush your toilet. With the water, you can still do all the things. You know what I'm saying? There's your tip. Scoot you in. Very professional here. Okay, so in this first row, these are very popular. A lot of people like them. Um, they are the photo, they are the photo organizing things. Uh, I've had these for several years. This is my, this will be my third season with them and they have individual things. I got real fancy, got my laminator out, not my label maker out, and I labeled these. I have three. And uh, I have had my seed collection organized in them for a few years. <laughs> I do not like them at all. They are terrible. Um, I think they're good for a small collection. But if you are market gardening, you're gonna run into where you have seeds in bulk and they don't fit in something like this. Now, one thing that I do like about these is, well, you can move them. You can take them out, you can do all the things. The only thing that I have actually found them super useful for, for moving, is when we had to get ready to evacuate for a forest fire. And you can just whoosh, and go. Yes, seeds are definitely a priority for me to take when we're evacuating for a fire because they're a lot of investment. And if we lose everything, we have seeds and we can start a garden and wherever we end up. So they are definitely a priority of mine. Like I said, I have bulk seeds because they come in big, big old things. So if you have small packets, I think these are great for a small garden. And so I have one for greenhouse seeds, cut flowers, and these are like the cold hardy. It worked not great, but adjusting every year and who knows by next year, I might adjust as well. I figured if these did not work for me and if you don't think they're gonna work for you, there's another system also that probably won't work for you. I think it's really cool where they have photo albums and they use like the little places where you'd slide in pictures, your seed packet fits in perfectly there. I think those are cool in theory. Same problem though, same problem. I did like this method a little better because if water gets on it, trust me, I've, these have been, it stays pretty dry. Lots of water has been on these and my seed packets stay dry, so. I would prefer this method over that. The, this one I believe I got off Amazon 
was like 20 25 bucks and then I discovered these at Hobby Lobby and Hobby Lobby they'll go on sale I never bought them full price they always go on that half price and you just watch out for that and I think they were only 10 bucks half price so that's a really good deal probably the same amount of money you'd spend on a photo album and what a little more water resistant I do prefer my one from Amazon just because this latch is better and this has snaps but this was also less than half the price and the colors if you like the colors I'm kind of boring I preferred the not colorful one <laughs> which brings me to the things I bought last year now I haven't seen these let me gotta stay organized people I just spent two days organizing this cabinet these are all options I've used. I will show you what I'm going to next. Okay, so this, so these, by, it's by the brand Essentials. So these guys, you can make, take out the barrier, move the barrier. I like that. Cause then I could fit my bigger things in there. Things get out, can get messy in here. They were fine, they were fine. All of these things I'm gonna repurpose for things. I will probably actually use those for photos. <laughs> because I'm trying to be better about printing pictures off and not just having them on my phone. Also, I had gotten a couple of these to fit huge things, uh, one pound bags of peas or beans or what have you did good in here. And these are actually water tight, so no water damage. These were fairly cheap and so were these. I don't know how much, these were in the craft section at Walmart both of these type of things and I just bought them on a whim last year to try them out I did like them and I liked them more than the photo organizers still still not going strong I find when I get my seeds when I like want to go plant I just want to sort through I don't want to take a whole case out with me that's the issue I want to sort through get what I want, a couple seed packets, and go out and plant them and bring them back. And typically I use a basket and I'll have my clippers and my gloves and a water bottle, whatever I need in that basket. And this is just unnecessary. It's just a lot of bulk. So I got lots of cool totes to reuse. For now, they're in this cabinet. This is my grandmother's. This is my favorite thing to store seeds in, but also same kind of scenario with these. Uh, this is old bread tin. Makes it special because it was my grandma's. I'm gonna reuse it probably in the kitchen on some shelves and it just opens. It held so much and did so well for me for a few years before I got those. <laughs> and I still, when I had my photo storage things, I used my, my bulk seeds in here. It's not waterproof. Um, yeah, this works great. My sister, I think, still stores her seeds in this, which I think is a good option. And if you can find them at garage sales or thrift stores, they're super, super cute. So have no fear, all these random things that I've tried out, hopefully you don't have to. And also, I will reuse them for lots of things. Okay, now we're gonna move you back. This cabinet is like my favorite cabinet in all the land. I have hauled it, I bought it here in Oregon for $10 at a garage sale. It's beautiful. It was green. This is its original finish. I'm missing a knob. After Trey and I got married, I hauled this back to West Virginia. And when we were moving into our first home, I noticed one of the little tiny knobs was missing. And mind you, we just got married. That was all new. First time living with a boy that wasn't my father. And then my knob goes missing. And I think I bawled all night long. <laughs> My family was far away and it was sad. <laughs> so anyway, this cabinet has come with us all over the place. It has been multiple things. It's been a TV entertainment center. It's been a linens closet. It's been all, it's a multi-purpose cabinet, but it's, in, it's such good quality. It's dovetail, it's beautiful. Um, and it was a good deal. So. We're gonna bring you down. So this is what I have spent the last few days doing. This drawer I'd like to sw swip out, sw 
swap out swap out these drawers. I don't know if I can, but the way I, it the way it went about it, this had some things I needed to organize, and I was procrastinating it, and so I did this one last, and then it became the least full, which bothers me because it should be the least fulls on the bottom, but it such is life. Okay. And none of these are in alphabetical order. This is a super cheap method. Essentially, I have all my seeds in here and they have corn and then corn's behind it. Squashes, squashes behind it, all different varieties. It's not sorted anything. All sorts of varieties are behind it. It's not sorted in anything fancy. Lettuce, tomatoes, peppers, kohlrabi, cucumbers, radishes, cabbages, kale. Swiss chard and all of these things are just we had some shoe boxes from shoes that were gifts for Christmas and I ended up cutting them up making super cheap dividers that way I it's like a library card catalog I can just sort through I've always wanted a library card catalog holder for my seed collection but this is the next best thing I have these fancy cardboard dividers for the rows and this is my favorite system thus far. I haven't used it in a season, but I can already tell because then I can just be like, oh, get my variety, put it in my basket, go out and plant, bring it back and put it back easily. What will actually happen is I'll probably have a empty section here where I'll lay them out and one day I'll get sick of the mess and I'll reorganize it. It's not perfect. So we have perennials, annuals, pro cut sunflowers, regular sunflowers, hybrids type and then down here so this is kind of where it works out with my bulk you can see my bulk carrot bins bulk bulk and then peas bulk peas bulk beets bulk all the things for the market garden fits in this cabinet and my whole entire seed collection can be in these three drawers which is nice but so that there is my cheap freeway if you have an extra drawer somewhere this is i think going to be the best seeds last a really long time so all these seeds i may have a ton of them and i but i know a lot of my friends and family that get into seeds you just keep getting more and one it's a food security thing two it's a habit that whenever you go into the store you're like oh i might not have enough of that and i like get this panicky feeling when I know I don't have a certain amount of a vegetable especially if it's my favorite right now I made here's my list I have a list of things that I needed I went through so it really helps you see what you have in inventory and what you are lacking we'll go back up now so you can fill in the gaps. I fortunately did not have a ton of gaps and the things I noticed I was missing were corn, Brussels sprouts, shallots, maybe some more peppers, but then I actually found a case of peppers so I don't need any more of those, and chamomile. That's not too bad for me. I did add pro cuts. Pro cuts are something I need for the farm and I need to get them ordered ASAP. I'll probably be ordering it before this video comes out. I'm sure my order of pro cuts are already done. I am definitely paring back what I'm doing for the flower farm. I am just being super simple. Wildflowers and sunflowers. This is what I really focused on. I didn't really focus. I tried a lot of things last year, but this year I'm just really focusing in on those type of things. Things that grow great in my zone. <laughs> I am going to try Larkspur and Stock and Lupin. It'll be a different video for another day. So there you have it. There's my seed organization systems. What's worked for me and what hasn't worked for me. Let me know what's working for you. If you have a small collection and you just need a shoe box, that's great. That is not definitely not where I'm at. Or if you use the photo album system, I think it's really cool. I think it's a great idea. But you need to realize you got to know your own limits. Got to know like I am not going to put these seeds back in this photo album. I am not going to put these seeds. You got to know your own limits. Hopefully something like this simple will keep me accountable. Or like I said, I'll put my ones that I've used in a pile or a basket and I'll individually go through them. The next process I'd love to do 
for this cabinet so it's not quite complete is to put it alphabetically and then also get my varieties together on like tomatoes like crap ton of tomatoes that is a crap ton of tomato varieties but i want to know where i have holes just because i have this many seeds doesn't mean i don't have holes <laughs> I always like to try new things. I want to try, especially with our high tunnel this year, we're going to be able to utilize a lot of these tomato seeds and peppers too. So, and hopefully corn and squash. <laughs> all the things we couldn't use before. I hope we can use all the things. Get an inventory list, find where your holes are and get your orders ordered. I have already placed one, two orders and I have a third order going to Baker Creek and a, I'll have a Johnny's order for my sunflowers and a few other vegetables. But other than that, you can go to the grocery store and pick up the Brussels. The Brussels sprouts, I have a couple packs and I didn't think I would need more, but then I've started roasting our Brussels sprouts, add in some bacon, balsamic vinegar. It's fabulous. My husband loves it. All it's so good so because of that i'm gonna grow our own brussels sprouts next year and it's something we can grow here so that's a bonus and i just wanted to thank you guys for all per anybody everybody who participated in our giveaway we the winners have been chosen actually yes i picked a second place winner i when i went through my seed collection i was like oh i could surely definitely give some more seeds so those will be going out to our second place winner the first place winner seeds went out yes last went out last week and yeah so thank you guys for all participating in that and our next giveaway will be when we get to 5,000 subscribers that's what I'm ducking about you know what I'm saying goals people small goals small goals attainable goals we can do this and Christmas you will see Christmas up and we celebrate till January 6th it is January 3rd January 6th is the day of epiphany. It's supposed to be, here's some random facts for you. The day of epiphany is when the wise man got to Jesus and gave him the gifts. And also the 12 days of Christmas, fact for you, the 12 days of Christmas start December 25th, Christmas day, and go through January 6th. So we are in the 12 days of Christmas right now. You know the song, on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Yeah, that song, it's happening right now. We celebrate, we keep our decorations up through the 6th and the children are still Christmasing. We're slowly going back to normal life though, back to work, back to s children. We started homeschool back again. So we're getting there. It's like slowly comes out of the holiday season, but we're still very much enjoying it. And with all this snow, it's just, just fun, you know? All right, guys, thanks for following along. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. And here we go, 2022. It's wild, right? <laughs>